For all wet kits, it will be time to prepare your solenoids for mounting. Grab any fuel solenoids from your kit and gather the plumbing pieces related to both input and output of fuel to and from the fuel solenoids. The NPT threads will need Teflon paste sealant applied. Be careful to wipe any excess away from the filter screen to prevent clogging the solenoid internally. Use a rag or towel to protect the solenoid surface from being scratched or place the solenoid in a vise that has soft rubber jaws like the one seen here. Spin the fuel filter into the inlet side of the solenoid and tighten with a wrench while it's securely clamped in the vise. Be aware that some kits will have a fuel filter that has NPT threads on one side and a press-on style nipple connector on the other. A few kit types might also have an extension that will fit between the solenoid and that type of filter. Now move to the outlet port of the solenoid. Sealant would also need to be applied to the NPT threads of either a nozzle fuel feed hose nipple or a compression fitting body that will thread onto the solenoid outlet port. Just as with the nitrous solenoids earlier, if you're using the standard brackets, fit them in place now. Previously, during the nozzle installation, you pre-visualized the position of the fuel solenoid. Make sure to fit your brackets in place so that they allow you to mount the solenoid under the hood as you planned before. Of course, if needed, bend and twist or add bolts and accessories to position the solenoid in a place that will allow the nozzle fuel feed line to easily connect to the nozzle. Earlier, when you installed your nozzle or plate, you selected a set of baseline tuning rated jets for the nitrous and fuel ports. Grab the fuel jet and install it into the fuel port in the nozzle or the plate. Now, for single fogger wet kits, you can tighten the nozzle fuel feed line. Hold the nozzle steady with a wrench while tightening the nut in place against the beveled edge of the jet with a separate wrench. For plate kits, just as with the previous nitrous fittings, install the fuel jet, slip the B-nut sleeve against the tube flare, slide the nut in place, and hand tighten the line at the plate. The tube should be positioned under the fuel solenoid compression fitting that is already installed into the outlet port of the solenoid. Mark the tube and cut it to length. Deburr the tube interior, then slide on the compression nut followed by the sealing ferrule. The tube slides in, the ferrule against the compression fitting, and the nut seals and tightens the entire assembly together without the need for sealant. Recommendations for direct port fogger kit installations are covered in the direct port nozzle installations section.